The boxer application. For indications where immobilization of the metacarpals and wrist joint are required, position the limb before starting the application. Place a small piece of folded padding between the fourth and fifth phalange to provide cushioning. Tape should be used to keep this in place. Placing the limb in the proper position will assist the patient in maintaining that position during the application. Follow physician's instructions on the proper positioning of the limb. Measure with a 1 inch stockinette length to protect the thumb area. Make a 1 half inch cut at 1 -third of the length. Slide the stockinette over the wrist and apply other part over the thumb for protection. Another option is to measure the length and make a cut to slide over the thumb. Select a stockinette that will not be restrictive at the widest part of the limb. Measure from the metacarpals to mid-forearm, allowing enough excess for fold back. Roll up the stockinette before applying to the limb to lessen pressure while applying. Roll on and remove all wrinkles and creases. Make a small cut to allow the thumb to pass through. Cut the stockinette between the third and fourth phalange. Using a one inch stockinette, cut a length long enough to be used from the distal phalange to the wrist. Make a two inch cut at one side and roll up. Slide the stockinette over the fourth and fifth phalanges and remove wrinkles and creases. Apply two inch or three inch padding starting below the wrist, going through the web space twice and around the fourth and fifth phalange. Applying with a slight tension will allow the padding to lie down smoothly and have a snug fit. Additional padding may be required for bony prominences. Make sure the patient's limb position is correct before starting to apply the cast tape. Begin by putting on protective gloves before applying the cast tape. Measure using the cast tape from distal phalange to wrist. Fold over two times to make three layers, cut, and reserve to the side to be used as a reinforcement strip. Now, dip 2 inch or 3 inch cast tape in water, squeezing 1 to 3 times. Remove from water and squeeze 1 time to remove excess water. Start wrapping the cast tape below the wrist, working distally to the hand. Make a cut at the thumb to easily pass through the web space. Curl the cut edges of the cast tape under to create a smoother edge. Work proximally to the wrist. Fold back stockinette for protection of the skin and soft edge. Next, dip the reinforcement strip in water and apply to the lateral aspect of the hand and fifth phalange. Secure the reinforcement strip with the cast tape starting at the wrist. Then, make a cut at the thumb to easily pass through the web space. Curl the cut edges of the cast tape under to create a smoother edge. Pass twice around the fourth and fifth phalanges and continue toward the wrist. Be sure to leave approximately one half inch of stockinette exposed to leave a soft end. Fold back the stockinette over the fourth and fifth phalange to lessen irritation on the third phalange. Make sure that the distal ends of the fourth and fifth phalanges are accessible to check on circulation. Now, position the fourth and fifth phalange. Follow physician's instructions on the proper positioning of the limb. A common position for a boxer's fracture is with the metacarpal phalangeal joint flexed to 90 degrees and the proximal and distal interphalangeal joints at full extension. The wrist may be put into slight dorsal flexion. Once completed, check for any limitations in range of motion. 
Following that, check for any pressure points that may cause irritation and you are finished.